Karen, a word that everybody and your grandma's brother knows. It's just like a universal word. Karens are here to just give us entertainment and give us a little chaos in our lives. Um, so I'm going to talk about my experience with a Karen. The time I experienced a Karen was whenever I was working at Spirit Halloween. Absolutely loved the job. So this woman walks up to me with her son, and I'm working in, like, the dressing room area. Uh, so she gives me the costume for her son, and I'm, you know, taking it out of the bag. And I give him the give it to them to try on well she kind of just says something she's like why aren't you smiling and i and i didn't think anything of it so i was like oh you know just just chilling and that was the end of the conversation so her son comes out after trying it on and i put i'm putting the uh the costume back into the bag and she's like why aren't you smiling and i was like uh i'm just like i'm just kind of like focused right now i'm not really thinking of anything I'm just kind of doing my word she's like you need a smile i was like okay and so she was like you know you should really smile and so i'm like thinking like okay lady i get it you want me to smile but i'm not going to on command because you said so i didn't actually say that but i'm just thinking that in my head um so what happens is that she goes to my manager or my boss and she's just like complaining about me not smiling and my boss like comes back over and she was like hey so like this woman's like cussing you out and stuff like that and saying like you're not smiling and i'm like yeah i don't know what her problem is she's like yeah just don't worry about it so i had like a really chill boss but that was my first encounter with a karen and that just kind of like blew my mind because i never thought like the day i uh, would come that i would meet a karen so with uh my karen story time out of the way let's see if we can uh find some wild karens so here we have a Karen that has bolt cutters and she's cutting like uh, the hydraulic lines on a boom lift. Uh, apparently the operator is still up there so that is actually crazy and dangerous. Uh, she should be arrested for this. Um, so yeah, let's play the video. So I don't know like the whole lore behind this anime, but from what it, from what I'm guessing is that she's just really mad that like they're doing work right there and she just wants to ruin everybody else's day. I can't like imagine like what goes on in her mind just thinking like, oh yeah, I think the best rational thing to do instead of just ignore it or leave is to just cut the hydraulic lines. And you like there are people that are up there that are working and you know just trying to get things done do you think that they want to do that too no i don't think they want to work i think they would just want to sit back and just do whatever so uh that's just like a really d head move on that woman's part uh let's watch another one so here we have a karen that is blocking everybody in from getting into like their houses uh because she just doesn't know who they are um that seems like a like a common thing that karens do whenever they don't know who anybody is they just want to ruin somebody's day uh so apparently what like the karen was saying whenever the cops had arrived was like hey uh she she wouldn't back up uh so i just blocked her in um i think karens just like are born with the natural ability to have no shame uh no embarrassment <laughs> For those who didn't uh, catch it, the cop was like saying like, hey, why did you block him in? And she was like, well, if they live here, then she they could just beep in. 
Well, they can't really beep in whenever you're you're blocking the your their entrance. Here we have a Karen that, from just based on the title, it says uh, Karen earned that for being racist, and it says fight. So you could put two and two together. She's being racist, and then the guy like did something. Uh, I haven't watched it yet because I don't want to have my like full like first reaction on like what's gonna happen. I'm trying to do this shit with me. Look who I am. I'm fucking fast. I'm I'm English. I'm Irish. I'm what else is it? <laughs> every fucking race. Oh! 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 So yeah, I had to bleep that one out, but uh, if you if you couldn't imagine what the word was, it was the N word. Uh, so yeah, she's saying that she's English, she's Irish. So I guess that's just we she can say whatever. So what does she do whenever she's being racist? Well, the Incredible Hulk just comes up and sucker punches her in the head. Like that was like a wind up. Just she was then put in her place. So let's find another one. This Karen right here wants to leave because she doesn't want to eat around Chinese people. I don't know what her problem is. Um, she kind of looks like the old lady worm from Spongebob. Please, Becky, be quiet. These are all Chinese people. But this little kid is a refugee. No, he's mine. No, no, he's mine. No, no, they're not. They're the Chinese. Becky, I'm leaving. I feel bad for the little kid right here because he's just trying to eat with his family and all of a sudden this uh old lady just comes up to him and be like he's a refugee he can't be here um so yeah she finally leaves after being mad at Becky she finally tells Becky which is I think like the manager or something like that uh, she finally tells Becky that she's leaving, and, you know, she's like, okay, leave. And then the, uh, Becky, the I'm guessing the uh, manager, is like, hey, I'm I'm really sorry about that. And I guess she comes in there all the time and, and be racist. So this lady is screaming and yelling because she wants her refund. I don't know why she got mad about it. Give me my change. Yes, ma'am. It's $11. Give me and my change. Yes, ma'am. It's eleven seventy six. Why you videoing something? Get my change. So as you saw, she was upset about like a soda, but I don't know exactly the reason why. Uh, and for some reason, she just decided to flex her husband's wealth on him. Uh, and I feel bad for like the daughter uh, because she's just trying to, you know, just have her f her meal, get it paid for, and leave. Uh, and so then like the woman just like throws the soda and just rips her soda out of her hands and just starts throwing it. I mean, she was probably thirsty. She probably wanted that soda for later. So this Karen right here goes to a kid's birthday party and demands them to leave whenever they had a reservation to these tables. Uh, so then the park ranger gets involved in this and then he's like, hey, yeah, they reserved it and uh, you know, you can't really do anything about it. Uh, so she gets like really mad and if you look at her she looks like her whole outfit looks like she's a freshman in high school's like zit Here's here's the bottom line. I'm gonna say this. They had a reservation for tables Excuse me, let me finish Okay, these tables were marked They put their stuff there when they came out The markers were gone there is nothing here with our group Okay, so here's what's going on at this point, okay? Four tables that they have, including these two 
two, correct? Yeah. Okay, those are their tables. These are over here. These two are their tables. <laughs> okay. I only played like a couple seconds out of it because it's just like a two minute long clip and you can get the idea. They reserve the tables, she gets mad about it, and there's nothing that anybody can do about it. So that was our exciting episode on Karen's in the Wild. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.